Have you ever wondered why calibration of displacer level transmitters is so critical in industries ranging from petroleum to food processing? Well, calibration is the heartbeat of these operations. It ensures pinpoint accuracy and unerring reliability in measurements, the two keystones that directly influence the quality of the final product. Without proper calibration, we risk misreadings that can spiral into potentially hazardous situations. So, it's clear that understanding the calibration process is vital for anyone involved in these industries. Now let's dive into the calibration process of displacer level transmitters. It's an intricate process that requires your keen attention to detail and a systematic approach. The first step in this process is to check the installation of the transmitter. This is crucial because a correctly installed transmitter ensures the accuracy and reliability of its readings. If it's not installed correctly, it could give false readings or worse, not work at all. So, take a moment to verify that the transmitter is properly mounted and that all connections are secure. Next, it's time to clean the transmitter. This step might seem mundane, but it's actually quite important. Dirt, dust, and other contaminants can interfere with the transmitter's performance, leading to inaccurate readings. So grab a clean cloth, gently wipe down the exterior of the transmitter, and make sure it's as clean as a whistle. After the transmitter is spick and span, we need to ensure it's in a safe state for calibration. This means checking that the transmitter is not currently in use and that it's disconnected from any power sources. Safety is paramount when working with these devices, so don't skip this step. Now, you might be wondering, why are these steps so important? Well, each step plays a pivotal role in ensuring that the calibration process goes smoothly. If the installation is incorrect, the calibration could be off, leading to inaccurate readings. If the transmitter is dirty, it could affect the device's performance and again lead to inaccurate readings. And if the transmitter isn't in a safe state for calibration, you're not only putting the device at risk, but you're also putting yourself in danger. So, take your time, go through each step carefully, and remember, the devil is in the detail. Calibration is not just a task to be checked off your list. It's a process that requires precision, patience, and a thorough understanding of your device. These initial steps are essential to prepare the transmitter for accurate calibration. Having prepared the transmitter, we're now ready to proceed to the next steps in the calibration process. As we move forward, bear in mind that each step we undertake is crucial to the overall accuracy of our transmitter. Minor inaccuracies can lead to significant errors in measurement, which can have a ripple effect on the entire process. So let's dive into the next steps. First off, we'll adjust the zero and span. To do this, we'll need to fine-tune the displacer to the lowest measurable level, which we'll refer to as the zero point. Once we've done this, we can then adjust the span, which is the maximum measurable level. Next, we'll need to check the response of the transmitter. This is a critical step as it allows us to ensure that the transmitter is responding correctly to changes in the fluid level. We'll do this by gradually increasing the fluid level and observing the transmitter's output. If the output does not correspond with the fluid level, we'll need to make some adjustments until it does. Now, we're on our final steps. After we've ensured that our displacer level transmitter is responding accurately, we will finalize the calibration. This is done by locking in the zero and span settings. This step is important as it ensures that our transmitter will consistently provide accurate readings irrespective of changes in environmental conditions or process variables. Finally, it's worth noting that calibration is not a one-time process. Regular checks and recalibrations are needed to maintain the accuracy of our displacer level transmitter. This is especially true in industrial settings where conditions can change rapidly and accuracy is paramount. Following these steps carefully will ensure that your transmitter is properly calibrated and ready for accurate measurements. That wraps up our step-by-step -step guide on calibrating displacer level transmitters. So, what are the key points to remember? Calibration is crucial 
It ensures precision and reliability in measurements, preventing errors that can lead to significant safety and operational issues. The process involves meticulous steps, from preparing the transmitter to adjusting the span and zero settings using water or process fluid. Remember, accurate calibration is essential for reliable measurements and safety in your industry. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.